Delivery delays and rising costs are stemming from the Red Sea crisis and the drought in Panama. The global effort to get goods to store shelves this holiday season could be slowed by a drought affecting the Panama Canal. Recently, over 50 ships were seen waiting to transit the Panama Canal. The canal's operator has reduced the number of crossings due to the extended drought, resulting in longer waiting times. Ships now face tolls that are nearly eight times higher than before. Meanwhile, container ships transiting Egypt's Suez Canal are either waiting for naval escorts or opting for a much longer journey around South Africa, over 7,000 miles away. Global trade is suffering due to both geopolitical and climate-related problems in the Suez and Panama regions. The amount of cargo passing through the Panama and Suez canals has dropped by more than 33%. Many ships have diverted to longer routes, leading to delivery delays, higher transportation costs, and economic decline. In this context, having a viable alternative to both the Panama Canal and the Suez Canal will significantly enhance global trade between nations. Today let's explore the development of a new trade passage, the Northern Sea Route that could potentially shut down the Panama and Suez Canals. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. For centuries, explorers have been fascinated by the legendary Northwest Passage, a sea route that links the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans through the Canadian Arctic Archipelago. Its discovery, heralded as the Arctic Route, promised a quicker and more profitable trading route to East Asia. However, the perilously cold conditions made navigation extremely difficult, if not impossible, keeping it out of reach until the effects of climate change became more apparent. The Northwest Passage is now uniquely positioned as a potential major global commerce route, offering immense opportunities as well as new risks. As commerce is diverted through shorter Arctic routes, the melting of summer ice in the Arctic Ocean over the next century may potentially signal the end of the Panama and Suez Canals. The magnitude of this threat raises questions. What are the benefits of shipping via the Arctic over the existing canals? And is increased Arctic shipping a realistic possibility? To answer these questions, let's begin by assessing the advantages of transporting goods through the Panama Canal versus the Arctic route. The construction of the Panama Canal, completed in 1914, connected the world's two largest seas. Since assuming control in 1999 under the Panama Canal Authority, the canal has been pivotal in Panama's diplomatic and economic strategies. Approximately 40% of Panama's economy relies on the canal and its associated services. In recent years, canal revenue has increased nearly fivefold since 1999. Official 2019 data marked a record high, with tolls generating $2.592 billion in revenue. Today, up to 90% of the world's crude oil and natural gas tankers navigate through its expanded locks. However, the melting of polar ice could profoundly impact even a modernized Panama Canal, despite its increasing revenues and technological advancements. The convenience of Arctic passages poses a significant challenge, as shorter routes mean lower shipping costs, a key factor in the Panama Canal's competitiveness. Since its inception, the canal has revolutionized global trade by enabling direct maritime transit between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. If a more convenient and seemingly cost-free route opens up, it could potentially shut down the canal. The vulnerabilities and limitations of the Suez Canal also come to light as the Arctic Sea Route emerges as a viable alternative. The canal's reliance on geopolitical stability in the region, as well as its susceptibility to blockages and congestion, raises concerns about its long-term viability. The potential economic implications of reduced traffic through the Suez Canal could be significant. A shift in trade routes towards the Arctic Sea Route could lead to decreased revenue and operational challenges for the canal, impacting not only Egypt's economy but also global trade dynamics. The Arctic Ocean is experiencing unprecedented rates of ice melting. Since 1979, this area has lost approximately 3.15 million square kilometers of late summer ice, 
shrinking by around 76,800 square kilometers per year. The Northwest Passage, which could become ice-free during summer months, offers the fastest route from East Asia to the east coast of North America, providing a viable alternative to the longer journey via the Suez Canal. Additionally, the Northeast Passage along northern Russia's coast serves as another potential alternative route for international shipping. Between the Northwest Passage and the Northeast Passage lies the potentially more challenging yet direct transpolar route, which could circumvent many of the territorial, navigational, and depth obstacles of the Northwest Passage. Scientists suggest that the summer ice in the Northwest Passage could vanish by 2030. The question of whether the growing use of the Northwest Passage is a trend or a fluke has come to the forefront, particularly following several notable transits in the past decade. In 2013, the vessel Nordic Orion bypassed the Panama Canal, saving $200,000 and four days on its voyage from Vancouver to Finland via the Northwest Passage. Similarly, in 2017, the Finnish icebreaker Nordica set a record by completing a similar journey of 10,000 kilometers in just 24 days. While these individual ship transits have had minimal overall impact, they establish a precedent that could soon lead to significantly increased traffic through the Arctic. This poses a potential threat to the supremacy of the Panama and Suez canals, as the appeal of shorter routes with reduced costs and emissions may increasingly attract major shipping companies. The development of the Arctic Sea Route comes with a hefty price tag, as significant investments are needed to make this ambitious project a reality. One of the major expenses associated with the development of the Arctic Sea Route is the investment required for infrastructure development. This includes the construction of ports, terminals, and navigational aids to support increased shipping activity in the region. Additionally, the procurement and maintenance of icebreaker fleets are essential to ensure safe passage through the icy waters of the Arctic. Operational costs also play a crucial role in the financial feasibility of the Arctic Sea Route. These costs encompass maintenance of infrastructure, security measures to protect against piracy and other threats, as well as emergency response capabilities in case of accidents or environmental disasters. When comparing the estimated costs with potential revenue streams and economic returns, it is essential to conduct a thorough cost-benefit analysis to assess the feasibility of the project. While the initial investment may be substantial, the potential savings in fuel costs and transit times, as well as the increased efficiency in global trade, could offset these expenses in the long run. Navigating and operating along the Arctic Sea Route present a myriad of challenges that must be carefully considered and addressed. One of the primary obstacles is the unpredictable ice conditions that characterize the region. Icebergs, ice flows, and shifting ice formations pose significant risks to vessels, requiring advanced icebreaking capabilities and real-time monitoring systems to ensure safe passage. Constructing and crewing ships capable of withstanding Arctic temperatures is a costly and lengthy endeavor. In addition to ice conditions, the Arctic is known for its extreme and unpredictable weather patterns, including fog, storms, and rapidly changing temperatures. These factors can complicate navigation and increase the likelihood of accidents, emphasizing the need for robust safety protocols and emergency response measures. Furthermore, the limited infrastructure along the Arctic Sea Route presents logistical challenges for shipping companies. The lack of ports, terminals, and support services can hinder operations and increase costs, necessitating strategic planning and investment in infrastructure development. The critical factor determining the immediate threat to the Panama and Suez canals is whether Arctic routes can safely accommodate non-specialized vessels within the shortest time frame possible. The International Maritime Organization is actively addressing this issue through the Polar Code, which mandates varying levels of readiness for Arctic operations and imposes restrictions on vessel activities in Arctic waters. These requirements include using alternative fuel sources and enhancing structural integrity with double hulls and reinforced bottoms. 
Despite heavy fuel oil being cost-effective and commonly used in maritime shipping, efforts to ban its use in the Arctic have been contentious and ongoing for several years. These conditions could severely limit the number of cargo ships eligible to navigate in the Arctic. The concept of unrestricted passage loses its appeal due to the requirement for more expensive fuel, crew training, and modern or adapted vessels. These challenges are just the beginning of the costs involved in transforming the Arctic into a profitable and secure shipping route. Meanwhile, the Arctic's isolation and developmental hurdles constitute perhaps the ultimate barrier to replacing the supremacy of the Panama and Suez canals. The increased shipping activity in the Arctic region brings with it a host of environmental implications that must be carefully evaluated and addressed. One of the primary concerns is the potential effects on marine ecosystems, wildlife habitats, and indigenous communities that call the Arctic home. The noise pollution, disturbance of wildlife, and risk of oil spills associated with shipping can have detrimental impacts on the delicate balance of the Arctic environment. To mitigate these risks, measures must be implemented to prevent pollution, oil spills, and carbon emissions from Arctic shipping. Strict regulations, advanced technology for spill response, and sustainable practices such as using cleaner fuels and implementing energy-efficient measures are essential to minimize the environmental footprint of shipping activities in the region. The development of the Arctic Sea Route presents a complex tapestry of challenges and opportunities that require careful consideration and strategic planning. From the significant investments required for infrastructure development to the logistical challenges of navigating icy waters and unpredictable weather patterns, the Arctic Sea Route poses a unique set of obstacles that must be overcome. What do you think? Will the Arctic Sea Route replace the Panama and Suez Canals in the future? Leave a reply in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.